For most, the national anthem is a symbol of great pride, but for one nine-year-old school student, it's anything but. Tonight, we have the first TV interview with Harper Nielsen, whose controversial anthem protest landed her in detention. She's a little girl taking one big stand. And I'm not someone who just obliges by the rules of older people just because they're older. But the teachers didn't like that, did they? No. Nine-year-old Harper Nilsson has made national headlines, refusing to stand and sing the Australian anthem at her school assembly, so angered by these three words. Advance the white people, that's what it meant when it was written. It completely disregards the Indigenous Australians who were here before us. I think she's a very brave young person who uh, is, is really showing what you can achieve by taking a stand in something that you believe is right. Harper's parents say they were shocked by the response from Kenmore South State School, who put the Year 4 student on detention, threatening to suspend her if she didn't say sorry. We were, I think, surprised that behaviour such as a, a passive non-participation might be considered in the same realm as something like bringing a knife to school or being violent towards others. While the school says it respects Harper's wishes and has provided alternatives to singing the anthem, Harper has vowed to continue her silent protest in order to make her point. Sparking fierce debate and attracting a number of critics. You know, I, I think she is a brat. The same choice of words from Shadow Minister Jared Blay on Twitter. Do you think that's fair, a nine-year-old, to call a brat? Well, I think it's unfair for her parents to do what they've done. I think needs to probably grow up a bit. Harper's parents are adamant the decision was hers alone and as for all the unexpected attention. So excited because like people are going to start to understand like why I'm doing it. Sam Kuchiara, Nine News. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.